It sounds to me like your parents turned you into a man by being on a sailboat. I bet that had a lot to do with how you grew up and becoming a man, because I don't remember my dad teaching me anything. Like he didn't teach me how to change the oil in the car. He didn't teach me, you know, he just yeah. says, mow the lawn, you know, and I, he didn't even have a freaking get, get a grass catcher. So all that dog shit and rocks would fly in my face. <laughs> oh, so yes. I know those. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. he was always working. So he didn't have time to, you know, he wasn't a yeah. head of a CEO, you know, head of a company CEO and, and be able to buy a big sailboat and go out. But like, I think, you, did you not learn a, a lot which helped kind of create who, the man you are now? Yeah, but I mean, I learned that on the boat because before that, my I never saw my dad. Never saw my dad. Wow. You know, he was working for an American company because uh, uh, um, Young and Rubicum, you know, and uh, and uh, I never saw him. So that's why I think on the boat, I, by forces of circumstance, you know, being on the boat, you learn to, yeah, to sail. And sailing is is very arduous. It's not easy. It's, it's tough. You know, you can be in really tough conditions and you have to learn very quickly how to steer a boat, how to, you know, hoist the sails, uh, drop anchor. And you get into, you know, sticky situations when you're in high seas, you know, and, and, and stormy seas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's, it's a tough environment, but you learn very, very fast. And yeah, thanks to my dad's decision, I learned to, to be, much more self-reliant or just yes that's one thing i really learned i was super self-reliant super agile i could adapt to any situation suddenly wow. whereas i never felt that in my sort of quote unquote civilian life you know when i was going to school and i didn't really i felt i fit in because i was you know i i wanted to be an actor so i guess i was the clown that class clown but <laughs> it was really the boat the yeah, the the trip on the boat and and discovering new cultures that 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 turn me. You're right into the man I am today. Yeah, it well, was a very very formative, important experience for me. Yes, especially. Yeah. I love that. Do you feel yeah. like you're like you you hinted about it? You sort of said in in a way that you didn't really have a relationship with your father at first, and then he has this life change, this idea, and you go in the boat. Was it like? Did you sort of resent your father for a while? He's not around. He's not there. And then all of a sudden, you get on a boat. And it was a little tumultuous at first, and then it became this relationship. It sounds like a movie, but like, was it? You know, that's a really interesting question because it's funny because it's kind of the opposite. It's the opposite and the same. Before, when I never saw him, I did. I idolized the image of my father, you know, because he's never there. So you, you, and he, you always see this, you know. And in those days, growing up in France, you know, fathers were much more severe and earnest and. You know, he was the he was the the man of discipline, you know, and uh, not abusive at all. But you know, he was much more stern. I, I had a much sterner image of him. And then when we went on the boat, then you're confronted with being with your parents in a small space for twenty four seven. So I admired him and resented him at the same time right. because I saw there was nothing hidden anymore. You know, when my dad woke up in our house and put on his beautiful suits and everything. I was like, wow, look at my dad. And then you are confronted with the absolute reality of literally being in the next cabin as your dad on a boat that is 44 feet long. So there was a mixture of, you know, you're growing up as a teenager of resentment and admiration at the same time. 